Continuing coverage of Sandy and high tide still several hours away. We here at Wavy are very aware of that. Mm -hmm. We have something we affectionately call Lake Wavy, which is right outside our studio, and we're dependent on the tides. Right, and we're a stone's throw away from the river, and folks near the water are concerned. Let's check in with David Culver right now for what's happening outside. Hey, David. Hey, Don and Chill. The reason we show folks Lake Wavy is because this is really indicative of what we're seeing across our area, and we can kind of show you the transformation of the tides that we we have seen over the past few hours. Let me put up the split screen now and show you what Lake Wavy is before it's Lake Wavy. All right, a lot of folks they see Lake Wavy as it is now, but what you see really is just the empty parking lot. This is how we come into work, and then where I'm standing now, you can see clearly it is not possible to drive through here this morning. In fact, as I'm looking across the street, we're going to try to adjust tower cam in our next hit. Several cars are actually stopped on Port Center Parkway because they cannot continue across beyond where our studios are. The water simply is too deep, so they're stuck over there. We've seen a few folks actually stalled out in the middle of the water. Now this is kind of where the lines are as far as the tides have come up. So right here you can see where the water is right now. Last night around 920 or so when it was high tide, this is where the debris shows where the water pushed up. To give you even more reference, let's show you where it was during Irene last year. It continued over here into the parking lot, onto the sidewalk, and then right here into the side uh, brush right up against the wall there. That's where the water was kind of lapping during Irene. So this is, again, a really indicative of what we're seeing across our area. I want to tell you, I put in a call to several dispatchers here, especially in Portsmouth. I spoke to the folks there at the 911 Operations Center. They told me that not only are we having problems here at Port Center Parkway, also Effingham Street and South Street, another problem with flooded streets, and Columbia Street. So this is across our area. We're continuing to monitor it right here in Portsmouth. For now, guys, let's send it back to you in the studio. All right, David Culver, thanks very much. We'll keep checking back with you. Folks also wanting to know what it's like as they travel out and about Hampton Roads. Stephanie Harris is live now 